Okay guys, today we're going to talk about um, scarf joints. Um, I've got a scarf joint jig that I've been using for years to make uh, dangled headstocks. Uh, a lot of companies do this. Gibson, most anything you see with an angled headstock, they're done this way. Um, Gibson uses a 17 degree angle, which that angle gives you good string pressure over the nut. Um, once you've got it done, it kind of blends right in. You can barely tell the joints there unless you use a different type of wood for the headstock. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I cut these with the tool I have and then, you know, kind of go over just gluing it together and stuff. Um, here's one that's done. This is what it looks like when it's finished. And you can kind of see the line there, but uh, it's not super present. Um, anyway. The uh, first thing we'll do is we'll use uh, this scarf cutting jig which basically rides in the track of the table saw and holds the piece of wood at the angle you need. So first thing I do is I take a piece that I'm going to use for a neck and that's one by two and then I'll clamp it into my jig. Okay, so once it's clamped in there, you can kind of see the saw is going to end up coming through this at an angle. Once I put it down here in the saw track, it's ready to go. So we'll turn the saw on here. It'll be noisy for a second. Okay, hopefully you can see this all right, but um, we've basically cut a little chunk off the end of the neck at that 17 degree angle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the neck blank out and grab a piece that's a headstock blank. The headstock basically works exactly the same. You're going to clamp it into the jig here and then uh, run it through the saw, same as we did the neck blank. It's really pretty simple and the beauty of this is, is not only do you have a consistent result every time and a strong neck joint, but you can do a lot of this in advance, you know, cut a dozen or two dozen neck blanks, cut your headstock blanks and then it's just a matter of shaping them and putting them together. So we'll cut the headstock here. Okay, now as you notice, it didn't cut this all the way off. My headstock blanks are a little bit wider than what my uh, table saw blade will raise but that's really easy I can come along and just trim this off when I'm ready to shape it so we'll take that out you can kind of see it there a little bit better now once you've got this blank uh, we'll go over to the bench I'm gonna move the the uh, camera here in just a second but that's basically all there is to it you run the neck through and the headstock through and then other than shaping the headstock you're ready to go so let's uh, step over to the workbench. So we can do this without making it too shaky. Alright. Get a look at my messy workbench. Uh, okay, so we've cut the angle here, and uh, you saw the angle cut on the headstock blank like this. Now what I do from there is I would lay a template onto my uh, headstock blank like such. This is one we're going to go ahead and glue on but if you had a template, let me show you one of those. Uh, we sell these templates as well. Um, the beauty of these templates is you can again reproduce your your shapes 
perfect every time. Um, I put a little square in our templates so that you can see where to line up your scarf joint and then just trace that out. Cut it out on a scroll saw or a band saw or in my case uh, I do that with the CNC machine. But So we've got a headstock we'd already cut out and we've got the neck joint. These two pieces just basically get glued together like that. It's easy it's strong and you know you get a really good result every time so we'll just go ahead and glue this up not that gluing is a very high-tech thing but just so we can get this one all the way through spread my glue out a little bit make sure we got good coverage and then set the headstock on Wipe off the excess glue, and there you have it. It's uh, easy, you know, when that dries, we put a fingerboard on it and go to town. So that's scarf joints in a nutshell. Um, we're kind of, every once in a while, when we have a minute or two, we're making some of this, the jigs. And I guess let's show you that again. The jig is very simple. It's just a piece of... Uh, plywood with uh, this laid on at the angle and then you put a piece on the back to run through the guide that spaces it from your table saw blade. Um, I've used this particular jig for years that you really aren't going to wear it out in any way shape or form. So it's a handy handy thing to have. It makes your neck strong. It makes them easy uh, to cut them and uh, that's scarf joints in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.